Next, everyone thought Darren and Charla Mack were the perfect couple, until a rancorous divorce turns bloody. In May 1994, Charla Townley is a part-time actress working as a florist in Los Angeles when a well-chiseled hunk named Darren Mack waltzes through the door. Darren Mack came from a, a, a very wealthy family, a very well-known family in the Reno area who ran a very successful uh, pawn shop business. And I think that that wealth and growing up with it gave Darren Mack a sense of entitlement and played some part in driving who he was and, and who he is. Darren sweeps Charla off her feet. Darren and Charla had an instant chemistry. And they both had the same beliefs and ideals. They were both into health, and they both were very conscious of what they ate. They both followed special diets. Charla relocates to Reno, Nevada to be with Darren, and in 1995, they marry and move into a million-dollar mansion. They had a lot of ups and downs. And the downs can sink very low. It was pretty dysfunctional. It was an explosive relationship. It was combative. When Charla becomes pregnant in 1997, she begins to have second thoughts about swinging. The years go by, and by the time their child is eight, Charla is totally turned off by the idea. She wanted no part of that lifestyle. She wanted to go to PTA meetings and volunteer in the classroom and do mommy and me swim lessons and soccer and play dates and sleepovers. I think Charla Mack was, above all else, a, a devoted mother. I think her priority was her daughter. Charla's no longer willing to participate in all the sexual escapades. And that makes Darren a very angry boy. Dan has no idea what Darren has planned. And so Dan and uh, Darren's daughter begin to watch TV, and they're waiting for Darren to come back. Little do they know, in the garage just downstairs, Darren is about to ambush his ex-wife. She had defensive wounds on her hands and her forearms. And for a while, she was able to fend off her ex-husband. But not for long. Ultimately, he simply overpowered her, plunged the knife into her collarbone area, and struck her carotid artery. Charla bled to death. 